It is a seriously warm day that I am recording this. This is for the 26th of July, Friday. So today, we were really exhausted after last night, but we had a cool evening. It was very, very special to get to go do family stuff with everyone. And today, I had regular stuff in the office, worked all day, kept myself busy. We had a lot of plans for this evening, and we're, we're all already tired from yesterday. And we know tomorrow is the uh, Azul Dario Festival in, uh, in Leon, and so we've got filming I've got to do trying to keep up. I did a good bit of uh, work yesterday and today, like during the day, because my evenings are completely taken up and we're expecting all next week to be social engagements as well. So we know we're just, we're just super busy. So this evening, the original plan was we were going to go out to the beach. I ended up not having to go. Dominican went out early in the morning and did uh, some work at, uh, at the hotel and, and just working on designing stuff and kitchen stuff, or whatever. So she was there and then ended up going and helping Saeed with recipes for spring rolls that they had hoped to do earlier in the day, but it ended up being on the late side. We actually got to try some last night uh, while Saeed and I were in Managua on, I think, Tuesday. Uh, we had gotten some amazing spring rolls at the Shanghai Bistro, and we were both like, oh, these are so good. And then he had rice paper, so he was trying to, on uh, last night, tried making some so we could try them out, but uh, there were some things that were just didn't work very well, right? The, the rice paper was soaked too long. They had cream cheese in them, which tastes good, but doesn't work well with the, the texture. Uh, so Dominica's like, I can help you with this, so they're working on that today. So that ran over. She ended up staying on the beach because Ronnie plays live music in the afternoon, so she hung out for that and managed to get a ride back as well. While she was out doing that, I was working on videos and everything around the house and then was running errands in the afternoon. Ended up uh, getting home from uh, just doing errands around, right? As Dominica was getting back, grabbed her, got in the house, got everything ready, got packed up, and we all headed out to go to recording at Via Via in the evening. So we did a test last night with Larry Emerson, and uh, Dominica is in the window of the house making faces at me. I can see her in the dim light. She's like trying to distract me while I'm I can barely see her because the house doesn't have lights. I mean, it has lights. We don't turn lights on during the day. I talk about this a lot in Nicaragua that uh, we don't uh, we don't tend to use house lights during the day. The culture is to have dark walls, dark ceilings, even kind of dark floors and not turn on lights because it's bright and sunny all the time and people are outside a lot. So you get kind of blown out from all the lights when you're in the house people tend to like it dark and cave-like um, and especially because you're always looking to cool down because the outside is always warm so it's very hard to see into the house but I can see kind of the figure in the window moving around and making fun of me so we went out to Via Via for another run at doing some recording because we had really good luck recording the Larry Emerson concert last night if you haven't seen that and you want to see how well it turned out because this is my my Fuji which I've had looks fantastic but also recording the audio with the Zoom A H1 Essentials 32-bit float recorder, which is fantastic. I'm super happy with how that turned out. Uh, go check out the Larry Emerson at Las Penitas uh, video on Nika Roomba. That's YouTube slash at Nika Roomba. Uh, just look for Larry Emerson uh, at the Simple Beach Lodge Las Penitas. And it turned out really, really well. In fact, I had it playing in the in the video today, and Dominica said, wow, that just sounded like a recording. Like, I didn't even realize that was the live recording from The Simple. So it was really impressive. So tonight, Monty, friend of ours as well, playing at Via Via. So we went there to set up and uh, record for that. Uh, it's going to be the first test of can the microphone handle the super loud volume at the Avia because it's much louder there. It's a different style of things. The answer is yes, but I've had some problems with the audio and I haven't figured it out how to use it in all cases yet. So something's weird with that one. One of the recordings turned out perfect and one because they, they do two sets and one didn't, but I can't figure out why because under some conditions when I listen to it, it sounds fine and under others it doesn't and I, I'm not sure what's going on. So I'm working on figuring that out yet. Um, but uh, but in general, I think it turns out great. I'm really happy with the Zoom recorder, and I'm pretty sure I'm just so happy with it. I'm going to buy a Zoom uh, combo 32-bit float shotgun mic that just mounts to a camera but does a dual recording, records to the camera, but also re records internal for auto sync up of super incredible high quality. Um, I'm just so so happy with how that Zoom 32-bit float system works that while there's ways to do it with other things, it's just, it's compact and affordable. Um, so I can see now why people have raved about the Zoom equipment. I've never had one before. I've always had Tascam, which are great. And I was always like, how much better is the Zoom? Like, there's no way. I'm thinking it's, I, I do like using it a bit more. And I've been a Tascam user for 15 years. So 
So I'm sold, uh, at least on this first device. And I read some reviews where people were unhappy with some things, and I've tested out the things that they were talking about, have had none of the negative uh, stuff with it. So for me, for a $99 device, it is like the slam dunk of low-cost recording gear. If anyone is ever looking for something like that, H1 Essential from Zoom. It's like $99 on Amazon, which I realize is not nothing, but for the kind of thing it is, it's a ridiculously low price. So if you're ever looking for like professional-level recording at an affordable price, Nothing is going to come close to that for a long time, quite uh, quite the thing. So we had a nice time at Via Via. That went well. Uh, the recording went well when we were done there. Oh, and uh, the birthday party continued tonight at Via Via. There was also, they were at NL Vivro. We were supposed to go there earlier, ended up not being able to just coordinate everything. It was just too much going on uh, a couple days in a row. Uh, then from there, we were supposed to go to Gecko's, but everybody kind of broke and went to their own places. So some people went to the New York pub across the street from Via Via for a little while. Um, I just took care of the cameras and picked everyone up. Dominic and I decided to go home. Uh, everyone else went out to, I think, 23 Bar uh, and did some partying late into the night. But we just called it a night and went home and uh, and got some sleep. So that was uh, that was my Friday uh, here in, in Leo, Nicaragua. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.